All boys and girls is pretty uneventful morning scouting here. Uh, I did hear two birds gobble off the roost, but they were pretty far away. Uh, just barely within earshot. Saw a pile of deer, probably the most deer I've ever seen in my life. 23 different deer before I um, lost count or couldn't keep track of what was what. So the deer were just all over. Um, but I only saw one turkey, one one hen came out to the field for a few minutes and that was it. So I'm gonna do a walk around here and see if there's any turkey sign or where I might potentially set up a blind. Uh, might come back, sit here again either later tonight or, or uh, tomorrow morning again to see where I might possibly hunt. So as of right now, it was pretty uneventful, but who knows, it might change where I go to the next spot or the next day. So gotta want it. All right, just got blind number two set up here. Uh, this is the spot I sat this morning scouting and saw three toms, actually four toms, one tom, didn't have a beard at all, it must have had a beard rod or frozen, just broke off clean because there was no beard at all on it, but it was definitely a tom, and I think there was five jakes and a hen that came out here this morning, so it was definitely a good sign, I heard one bird gobbling on the roost pretty close, but it, it didn't come into this field, actually didn't see a single bird until almost eight o'clock or just before eight o'clock this morning so now i know there's birds here i don't really need to do any more scouting i think now i can just come in and hunt it when need be so i think i got my two blinds out two spots to go should be ready to ready to rock come wednesday so we'll check you later i set up a blind on sunday and i just got in here now and the we had a big windstorm uh come through monday night so i want to check on the blind and it's totally blown over so i gotta go out here and See if it's even salvageable or not, but it just blown up against this fence, so I'm guessing all the stakes are gone. But we'll have to see. But uh, the good thing was I did a drive-by and I didn't see any birds out in the field. And as I pull into the lane here by the blind, all of a sudden, right next to the road, around the other corner where I came around, there's a tom walking with a hen, maybe 50 yards from the road. So I don't know where they came from or where they were hiding, but it's a good sign that at least there's at least one tom in this area. I did see five toms over here on Saturday, so. Gonna see if I can reset this blind and move on to the next spot. What an idiot. You're shitting right where I wanted my blind, where I had my blind. Dick. Oh, it stinks. You are an idiot. All right, that is what I was afraid of after that windstorm yesterday. I hope it is not busted. Shit. Oh no, it looks like it's broke. Well, Captain, the ship sustained minimal damage. Overall, she's still seaworthy and ready to rock. Two of the four loops on the corners here busted off so I can't even get stakes in them. So I did the best that I could. It, hopefully it stays good till tomorrow because tomorrow's my opening day. So she'll be ready to sail again. Guten Morgen, friends and enemies. Today is the opening day of my turkey season here in Wisconsin. I have the second week. So I believe it's April 22nd today. Uh, it's about 4.35 right now and I'm just leaving the house, heading out to uh, spot A, where I'm gonna be turkey hunting with the bow this morning. So when I scouted this weekend, I saw, I think a total of four toms, six jakes, and like a hen or two. So it's definitely a good sign that knows there's some birds out there. Uh, today isn't supposed to be the greatest of weather. I think it's going to be like a high of mid 30s and possible snow flurries and it's going to get windy later in the day so I'm going to flex my hours at work and hunt until maybe about 9 o'clock and uh, then I'll be working after that the rest of the day so I'm only going to hunt until about 9 and depending on what I, what I see and what the weather's going to be I'll play it by ear what I'm going to do tomorrow. So that's where I'm at right now just driving out there. i got about a 20 minute ride give me a little bit of time to Get decoys and stuff set up had the blind all fixed last night after it blew down from that big windstorm on monday um so hopefully there's some birds around and, and they want to cooperate so all right stay tuned all right so it's been extremely frustrating trying to get all my camera gear working today i don't know what's going on but i keep getting this error here make sure your gopro backpack is on and i've went through that about 100 times says my app GoPro connected and I go into settings and it 
it says my Wi-Fi is connected, so I'm not sure what the hell is going on, but it's kind of ticking me off. I've turned the cameras on and off 50 times, turned my phone on and off about five times, swapped batteries out. You know, I don't know what else. I've, I've tried recording a little bit and stopping, but nothing is getting them to connect, so I'm not sure what the deal is, if I need to do a firmware update or, or what the hell, so it's been very frustrating. So I'm going to have to do it old school if I want to get the extra camera views. You know, I'm just guessing where my cameras are pointed. And when I hear something coming, I'm just going to turn it on manually and let it roll and hope for the best. So, not ideal, but we're just going to have to uh, try and get through here. See what happens. Make sure he's dead. Yeah, baby. Gotta want it. All right, so there's the Jake decoy he was jumping on. Look at this, just just a bloodbath. My gosh. I mean, right here's where he died. 
well, he was pretty much dead as soon as I hit him, but that's where he stopped the flop right there. Look here, so view from outside the blind, looking out. So I heard a bird gobble this morning, somewhere back in that direction. Only gobbled a few times right off the roost. Must have flown down and and uh, didn't do much gobbling after that. <clears throat> Did a couple yelps with the Primo's True Double Two, and all of a sudden I heard a gobble somewhere back in that direction. And all of a sudden he just popped up on top of the ridge over here. I was, I was messing with my cameras and getting trying to get him ready because I heard a bird gobbling. And uh, as soon as he got to the top of that hill. He gobbled and strutted a little bit, and then he basically beelined it all the way in here. Came to this decoy, and then he saw that it was a Jake over here, and he just freaking came right to it, straight at that Jake decoy. Uh, the DSD, man, those things are freaking amazing. So they just jump right on top and want to try and kick it, kick its ass, but pretty awesome. First bird with the headshot guillotine. So I'm pretty pumped. All right, so as you saw in episode one, um, I kind of mentioned I'm working at getting better. I was coming out of a bad place. You know, I was really making some progress. Uh, then COVID came around and had me sliding backwards. Um, <clears throat> with my turkey week coming up here, I had the second week in Wisconsin. That was, it was a good thing for me. Um, it really you know, got me out scouting, you know, getting my bow dialed in, shooting, practicing, you know, getting my camera gear ready, um, setting up blinds, you know, just, just staying busy, staying active. Um, that was definitely a positive for me throughout the week, and it, it gave me something to look forward to, really. So, <clears throat> you know, it gave me that anticipation, the drive, the motivation, the stuff that I normally typically have just on a day-to-day on a -day basis because that's my personality. So, you know, leading up to this, that was definitely a good thing for the week. Um, right now, I would say, you know, a few minutes after killing my bird here, definitely appreciative of having a place to come out and hunt have an opportunity to come out and hunt and appreciative for the bird you know for, for the meat and for the experience but you know even right now just a few minutes later you know normally when I have a success like this where I, I set a goal I said I wanted to get out and try and get my first Tom with uh, the guillotine broadhead I shot my first turkey with the bow last year and my new challenge was to uh, get him with the guillotine broadhead shoot it in the head as a as an added challenge get the bird closer and uh, that was the plan, and I executed the plan. But you know, even right now, I'm just not—I'm not where I can tell I'm not where I normally am. So, to me, that says I still—I still have some work to do, um, and I'm looking forward to it. I have three more turkey tags, so I'm hoping that maybe with each one of those, it just helps keep me get get better and better, and having those positive experiences and get me back to where back to where I normally am, back to being myself. So. Well, friends and enemies, gotta want it. Prevails again here. Not a giant tom, but uh, it's my first tom shooting in the head with a guillotine broadhead, which is a pretty cool experience. Uh, it was a goal that I set after getting my first tom last year with the bow after four years of trying. And after that, I said I wanted to try and get one with the guillotine broadhead as a, as a new challenge. So I set that as my goal. Uh, about a month or so ago, you know, I went and got my bow all dialed in with a new setup new arrows with those guillotine broadheads uh, you know shooting really well the 20 30 yards is pretty much the max distance but shot really well um, gave me something to work towards you know it was, a, it was a goal I set out to achieve I set that plan and I executed the plan which is something I, I like to do um, so it's not a giant Tom maybe half inch spurs got a nice beard I'm guessing between eight and nine inches but it doesn't feel like a really heavy bird but you know so probably a two-year-old but I'm happy for it it's going to be some good turkey meat in the freezer. Probably cook that up maybe this weekend. And uh, other than that, got some cool footage. I mean, it came in gobbling, <laughs> strutting. You know, it came all the way across the field, probably 150 yards. And as soon as it saw that Jake decoy, it was pissed. He ran right for that Jake decoy, and he tried just, you know, beating him up. And he jumped right on top of it and gave me time to get the video camera set up. And, you know, with the rigor Murrow that I had this morning with the GoPros, I'm hoping that at least one of them was running. I'd Tried turning them both on, but we'll see what the footage actually looks like later. But uh, it was about a 12-yard shot, and he was dead in seconds, so it's pretty awesome. Gotta want it, baby. All right, so here's a better look at him. 
Not a giant thick beard, but nice long beard. Probably, I'm guessing, close to nine. It's not the mega rope that was out here, but still a nice bird. Look at that, what that guillotine did. Oh, man. Right in his brains. And then, not the biggest spurs. You know, half inch maybe. But, done deal. Got him on it, baby. Well, the only bad thing about bow hunting turkeys, besides the fact that you can't run and gun and move, is all this shit you gotta carry with you. Dead turkey hanging off the shoulder, backpack, big bag of decoys, bow. Couldn't fit my blind, so that's still back there. I have to make another trip for that guy. But, done deal, tagged out. Gotta want it, baby. And now that's kind of done and over, you know, I am feeling a little bit better. Maybe it was just a, I don't know, a lull or something there. You know, after I shot it, maybe, I mean, it wasn't shock or anything like that, but I just was feeling like nothing. nothing. Um, now that I've gotten the pictures taken, you know, texted with some buddies and stuff like that, it's getting me pumped up again. So my mood is definitely improving. I'm going to try and keep the momentum going here and get back home, clean the bird. Got my patio getting, new patio getting poured today, so a lot of good things going. Once that's done, I'm going to log into work and hammer out some work for the rest of the day and try and keep it rolling the rest of the week. So just like uh, the outdoor adventures here, got to want it. Um, I want to get better, so I'm going to try and keep rolling with that momentum. So we'll check you later.